Alright, so yesterday, Valka Mollema in the World Champs relay lot dropped his chain on one by. And I always bang on about how good one by is. And I thought, let's do a video. How good is it actually? So we'll we'll watch the watch the clip first of all. So he's the guy at the back, his chains fell off. He's fallen off on the inside, which I think is very rogue. Um I believe he has a chain catch. I'm gonna try and pause it to see if we can see it, but his foot looks like it's in the way. No, sorry, no chain catcher, no chain catcher at all. Okay, so um, the the question is, though, like, I was bang on about one by and how it's quicker, how pros should use it. But if your chain does come off, then that is just useless. So anyway, I tried to find some details about one by, but it looks quite hard. So anyway, the, this is, like, a lot of what people use, the error code stuff or pyramid cycle design. Theirs is like, got some sort of weird arc to it. Um, They say here... Um, that if you remove the front derailleur, you can save one to four watts at 30 miles an hour. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty big. Uh, that, that's pretty, that's pretty decent. So that's what Aero Coach say they reckon one to four watts plus the inner chain ring as well. Um, so Dan Bigham was asking if he used a clutch mech on his, on his bike. He said, no standard integrity there too. The pyramid cycle designs, one by chain rings are great at keeping the chain on. So that's the thing is that in reality, I've used one by on my time trial bike exclusively for two years now, never dropped a chain. Training, racing, never dropped a chain. I use an AliExpress chain ring and I've never dropped a chain. Then on my hill climb bike, I like when I bit my bike for hill climbs, I also run one by, um, have a 42 tooth. That is a, uh, what's it called? Uh, wolf tooth one. Um, and that's fine. Never dropped a chain ever. And I run narrow wide. Now, um, that it just doesn't make sense. Like if it's SRAM, it's got the clutch derailleur on it and then you never dropped a chain. Like I, I never dropped a chain on my 105 rear mech or my SRAM ones. Um, Obviously now this, my SRAM ones have a clutch, but even so, um, and the reason that obviously one by is good is because you can have a massive chain ring because um, you don't need to shift at all. So it's fine. Um, So you go 50 to 58 and then it's saying here, you can save 0.2% loss in drive train for every sprocket you're running away from a straight line. Um, which is why obviously you want a massive tooth chain ring. And I actually think the pro should be on 62s probably because they do go a lot faster than normal humans. But after all of this, so how many watts are we saving? Let's say we save a bit on the drivetrain, but to be honest, you can go big without that. So realistically, it's just like front Mac, which we went through here, is probably one to four watts and inner chain ring, which also might be a bit. So let's say like optimistically five watts. And I think it comes down to like, will it fall off? Because if it falls off, like, yeah, you are you are in big trouble. But I just don't know how it falls off. And I think if I was a pro, I can understand why they don't use them. And the fact that, like, if it fell off, it would be so annoying that, you know, it, it, that would, like, outweigh all the, the issues. Um, well, obviously, if you're an amateur and you're setting up your own bike, you're sort of like, well, it's up to me. And if in training it doesn't fall off, then I use it in racing. And also... In amateurs, you just don't have that many watts, so you just want to save all of them. Or when you're a pro, it's less of an issue. Uh, but in conclusion, what do I think? I still think if you sell one by properly, it doesn't fly off. I don't understand why it always does for pros. Obviously, they do more power, but I just can't understand how it's fine on mountain bikes. That And Balcomono is running a clutch derailleur. We'll, we'll zoom in, but he is literally running a clutch derailleur here. This axis is a clutch derailleur. Red, red axis is clutch derailleur. Don't know how it's flying off. Honestly, don't know how it's flying off. Unless it's not narrow wide on the front, but it is. But this is the only one I've seen all year. So I don't know, maybe it's just unlucky or maybe Monoma did something. I'm not sure. But yeah, those are my thoughts. I'd still run one by. I think the gains are there and I just don't know how you keep, how people's chains keep flying off. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one.